Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and today we're talking about the latest collection from ColourPop. This is a really cute, springy, little daisy-themed collection that is currently available. And according to the ColourPop website, this entire collection is 100% vegan. I have not gone through each and every single ingredient, but I don't think that they would put that out there unless it was. So some of these may have the may contain carmine because sometimes their vegan products do. But according to ColourPop, this is a completely vegan collection. And I did double check, you can use affiliate codes on this one. You can use my code AMANDA to save 10% on most everything on the site. The code even works on some of the sets, including the full collection set, which you can see here, I went and double checked it for you. The Daisy Does It full collection is retail priced at $125 and you can save 10%. So that's pretty cool. If you want everything in this collection, that is a great way to do it because the full collection set is already more of a value. There are a couple of other value sets here I just wanted to point out to you. You can get all six of the Super Shock Shadows or all six of the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stains and those will save you a couple bucks as well. I also wanted to make a note for you here, the Super Shock Shadows and the eyeliners that are available in this collection are not being sold as singles currently. You have to pick up the Super Shocks either in duos or in this full collection Super Shock set. And same with the liners, they are only being sold in the five piece set. We have so many pieces to get into. I have so many comparison swatches for you through this whole collection. So let's get started with a product I'm always excited to see, and that is Super Shock Blush. There are three Super Shock Blush shades. These are priced at eight US dollars a piece, and they do have special packaging on the blushes themselves. You can see they're a bit of an off-white color. And then the outer packaging for all three blushes is the exact same box. So this cute little daisy print, it has little gold reflective centers in the flowers, very cute. All three of these blushes are a matte finish. And I will say, you'll see in the comparisons, these are not very out of the box colors for ColourPop. This bright orangey peach color, a really hot pink, like mid-toned hot pink, and then a deeper terracotta sort of color are shades that we've seen from them pretty much time and time again when it comes to their collections. These are sort of the three blush shades that we tend to see reiterated time and time again, basically a couple times a month. And part of the reasoning for that is probably because these are very universally flattering shades. There's definitely something for everybody as far as style and skin tone goes. And that is okay, but I do wish that they had taken a little bit of a chance with at least one of the shades and done something that was a little bit more surprising, a little bit more shocking, a little bit more super shocking. I apologize for that pun. I can't promise that I'm done though. But I mean, look at this. These blushes pretty much all look the same and I probably could have found five more that look the same. So I wish that they had done something with like a gold shift or maybe like a really deep yellow blush or, you know, just one kind of weird one to mix it up a little bit and to create a little bit of interest. I know shades like that don't have as much mass market appeal and I realize that they make these shades because people like to wear them. I like to wear them. I totally get it. But if you're going to come out with collections every single week, you can afford to throw in a little something spicy every now and again. So I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it. I love seeing Super Shock Cheeks anytime, any day. But I do wish we had gotten just a little bit of a more out-of-the-box color for one out of the three. 
Another product that I love to see is the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. This is one of my all-time favorite lip formulas from ColourPop, and I'm thrilled to see some more of this Glossy Lip Stain formula. I think it's beautiful, comfortable. I have a whole review if you're interested in hearing more about this formula. This is the exact same style of packaging, same little sticker with the shade name on the bottom, same applicator. It's a, a short, pointy, more detail-focused applicator. The main difference is these do have the little daisy prints on the lids, which is cute, but it'll probably wear off pretty quickly, so don't get too attached. I know it's adorable. Get your Instagram pictures while it lasts because as soon as you throw this in your purse, those little details are going to rub off, which, you know, is fine. Say la vie. That's just what happens. Full disclosure, I swatched these last in real life. You're seeing the edited version where these are not the last thing swatched because these stain the absolute heck out of my arm, which is why I didn't do a full swipe swatch. I left a little bit of that lower arm there so that I can do a comparison swatch. And I will tell you, it has been an entire day since I did these swatches. I have done an entire workout, done an entire shower, skincare routine and everything, and my arm is still stained from these. Here's a little comparison with some previously released colors. I think they're pretty similar. I'm going to be honest with you, especially the first three, but you know, it's, it's lip colors. It's kind of the same deal as the cheek colors. They're putting out what people wear. Here's a little proof positive. Now these new springy shades didn't stain me as badly. So, you know, you can keep that in mind. Probably not that relevant because most people aren't putting this on their arms, but you know, just just a warning for you. Now we're going to talk about this little cream gel liner set. It's called the Upsy Daisy set and it's priced at 25 US dollars. It contains five cream gel liners. These are the pencil liners and out of the five shades here, we have two that are re-promoted shades. So you may already have these in your collection. Extra Frosting and Sunny Veil have been released before. So just make a note of that before you pull the trigger on buying this. Or maybe those are your favorites and you need to replenish your liner supply. These also have a really cute little daisy print on the caps. This will probably last longer. I don't know, unless you carry your eyeliner around in your purse, but usually the liner details last a little bit longer. The shade names are printed on the side as well. And these pencils twist up, so no need to worry about sharpening or anything like that. They're very, very easy. I'm not a big eyeliner girl, but Anytime I wear an eyeliner, not exaggerating at all, it's one of these BFF cream gel pencils. They are so soft, so easy to work with. They really keep their color on the eye. So the rare few times in a year when I wear eyeliner, it 100% will be one of these. I'm not really one to recommend a lot of eyeliners, so it's a pretty big vote of confidence. If you've been around this channel for a while, you'll know it's a big deal if I recommend an eyeliner. Now let's talk about the Super Shock shadows in this collection. They're all being sold only in duos at this point, and the duos are priced at 10 US dollars a piece. The first one we're going to look at is called Lawn Party. I love Super Shock Shadows. This is the OG product, and this is the absolute first product ColourPop ever released. It's what made a lot of us beauty space old timers fall in love with ColourPop, so I'm always thrilled to see Super Shock anything come out. These are probably the least exciting of the duos, and I don't have a problem with that. I love a good yellow eyeshadow, but I have been really on my green eyeshadow kick for a while now, and both of the other duos have a green, so I'm a little bit more partial to those, but overall, this is probably my favorite product in the entire collection are these Super Shock Shadow duos. The next one we're going to look at is called 
prom and I'm putting the finishes up on the screen whenever I show you the close-ups of the Super Shocks and just the individual duo swatches, but all of these are either ultra glitter or ultra metallic. It has been quite a while since they put out any new matte or satin finish Super Shocks, so hopefully someday we'll get some more of those, but I'm happy to see some more ultra metallics in this collection because that is personally my favorite finish of the Super Shocks, and I feel like we have a lot of good comparisons, semi-dupes for the Super Shocks in this Daisy collection, but a lot of the closest matches are no longer available. They're either discontinued or sold out. So I don't really mind that because if you missed out, you're feeling that FOMO of Super Shocks past, then I don't mind that they kind of redupe themselves. These shadows are also pretty easy to use up. So if you have a favorite it's sad to use it up and then not be able to replace it. Also, if you struggle with your Super Shocks, I do have a full video dedicated to how to use them, how to repair them, how to revive them if they dry out. I'll link that down in the description box. Please remind me in the comments if I forget because sometimes I say I'm going to link a video and then I forget because human brain no function. Okay, now let's move on to the very last thing in this collection. It's the Daisy Does It palette. This one's priced at 18 US dollars. And this does have the larger pan size. So the 26 millimeter pans, same size as the Of Quartz, as Limoncello, as the Tinkerbell palette. I'm trying to think of some that you may have seen. This is the bigger pan size. So if you like to switch your palettes around, keep that in mind. This has absolutely no eye safety warnings, and it does have a little raised detail along with the little metallic details on here. So it's very cute. It's giving me a little bit of limited two vibes. My apologies if that makes me sound old, but I'm okay with it. There's no mirror in this palette. It's just the cardboard packaging with the magnetic closure. So no mirror inside this one. That does make it a little bit more lightweight than something like the Limoncello palette. Lots of textures in here, five mattes, two mattes with glitter, two super shocks, and then three just plain shimmers. No pressed glitters, no pigment warnings. I always love to see that. So there is a really good variety in here, both of finishes, textures. There's also a good variety of depth. You'll see when I compare this to a couple of other palettes that this one does have a pretty nice range. I particularly like the deep olive matte green shade. I really wish that we had seen a little bit more of that vibe. I will keep my fingers crossed for fall this year to have a nice grungy green color story. I'm sure a lot of you would be on board with that too. I want to give you a really close up look at the different textures and colors here. Finger swatches are on top and then each corresponding swatch below is done with a dry brush. There's no primer. There's no dampened brush. Now let's do some palette comparisons. I did combine a couple of the nine pan palettes that were suggested on my Instagram post so that I could try to make the best possible comparison. So here we see Daisy does it on top compared to the Mandalorian and she's got Solstice shades both on the bottom to really make the closest possible match. I'm going to do the exact same thing here with the Wannabe and Glow Getter palettes. This was actually the first comparison that came to my mind and it's pretty close. We are still missing that deep army green matte shade, but actually none of the comparisons in today's video have that one. So I would say overall, this is one of the closer matches as far as today's swatches go. This is another one that came to mind for me. I knew that Wild Nothing wasn't going to be as deep 
as the Daisy Does It palette. We're definitely missing that depth, that extra vibrant oomph that we get from the more yellow based shades, but I could see these working well together. And in all honesty, like the first half of the palette is pretty similar. So that's probably why that comparison is coming up for a lot of people. And the Limoncello palette is actually a little bit more vibrant, more intense color wise. If you took Limoncello and Wild Nothing, put them together and added a deep matte olive green on it, that's the Daisy Does It palette. You really can get pretty much all your bases covered between those two. This is one that I didn't even think of, but was suggested on my Instagram post, and it is a really darn good comparison. There are a lot of shades, particularly in that middle section, that are very, very similar, and Sandstone does have more depth versus some of the previous comparison palettes. Very last comparison for this video is the Your Golden Mega Palette. I try to do palettes of a bunch of different sizes because I know everybody has really different collections, so I try to cover as many bases as I can. And I have to say, surprisingly, this is one of the best shade to shade matches of any of the comparisons. The whole second half, more than second half of the palette is pretty much identical except for that green. Woo. Okay, we made it. So many swatches, so many comparisons. I'm sure there are others that some of you wanted to see, and I promise you I just can't do them all. I wish that I could, but I try my best to give you the most relevant comparisons that I possibly can, and I really hope that you find this video helpful. I would love to hear what you think about this collection. Which pieces are you the most excited about? Did you pick any of them up? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And also, I love your face. Okay, bye!